Yo, first off, thank you for clicking on this fucking video. Pardon my language. And parents and children watching, you don't like foul fucking words, and these are not the videos for you. But for those of y'all that are gonna stay and rock with your boy, I appreciate you. Now, y'all see the title of this video? Give me good. Let's dive all the way in. Yeah. Small town niggas, I got bigger dreams. Bigger uh, most of the time when these people be talking, I don't even hear them. I don't. They talk and they talk, but I do not hear shit when I'm near them. I swear to God that I came up. Same stuff, never changed up. Taking shots, get your aim up. Wanna play, get your game up. And I see you hating, so you know I got that ass. Yo! Damn it, I'm finally back. For those of y'all that are new, you wouldn't even have known that I left. But we got a workout today. I told y'all I was bringing fitness content. I'm still gonna bring that energy. I'm sorry it's not music, but hey, if you don't like it, you I know you still gonna make an appearance in my comment section. Haters, I know y'all always got something to say. It's okay. I brought something for your ass. Eraser for the haters. Still drop that comment below. I'm still gonna heart that motherfucker just because I man, I hit my mic and everything, just because I know. Y'all crave that attention, but hey, you're here, you about to watch this video, this fitness video that's gonna change your life, back and by workout with a little cardio at the end that you're not gonna see, but I did do it, so just trust in me, full screen respect, baby, crank the music, D Gibby Fit in the building, follow me on Instagram, it's a link on the screen, so what we got up first, right, there's gonna be lots of pauses, this is my video, I ain't getting copyrighted for this, it's all mine, I can pause as many times as I want to, but let's get to it, baby. I got it written out because, you know, I'm official and I forget. Everything we're doing today, those of y'all that are new in the gym, you can always message me your questions. I'm still a trainer. I'm still online. I'm still here to help you succeed, baby. I know everybody got different fitness goals, ladies and men. This workout is for y'all. Just, you know, uh, tune the weight to your liking and what works for you. Pay attention to form, though. I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to get technical with it. Not too scientific, but... uh. I ain't gonna bullshit you either, you know what I'm saying? Everything we're doing today is back and biceps, bicep, back, you know what I'm saying? Uh, everything is three sets of 15 reps to failure. I said three of them, uno, dos, traits from my Spanish Latino culture, you know what I'm saying? Uh, three sets, that means you're doing this three times, 15 reps to failure. That means you get to 15, you can do a couple more reps, keep on going, baby. Don't just stop because... You, you know, just keep on going till it burns and you can't go no more. That's how you get better. That's how you uh, your body doesn't adapt to the same rep scheme. You know what I'm saying? But if you got questions, hit me, email me in the description. First thing up, wide lat pull downs, baby. Grab the wide bar. Got a little curve on the end. You know what I'm saying? You're going to love these workout faces that your boy got going on in this video. But that, hey, sorry, I can't change that. Beard is popping. Yes. I already said it's a back and bicep workout. You know what I'm saying? Bring it to the, no, 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 let's, let's bring over form real quick. Let's nice and slow, nice and slow, DG. Look, 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 I'm stretching at the top. Let them lats, that's right here, outside the rib cage, you know what I'm saying? Let them lats, them wings extend to the top. Full stretch of the muscle, don't half-ass it, go through the full motion. There's, there's a time and place for constant tension, which means like shortening the rep, you know what I'm saying? But this time, when I'm doing these lat pull downs, full stretch at the top, ladies and gentlemen. Watch your boy. Squeeze at the bottom. Now you'll see people bringing it down to their belly button. Don't do that. Bring it to your nipple line or above. Nipple line or above. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all got real low nipples. Bring it to about the middle of your chest and above. Stretch at the top. Bring it down. Squeeze up here. You know what I'm saying? Watch your boy do it. F fellas, some of y'all got a long beard. Hit the beard if you got to. Doing this right here. 15 reps to failure. Just watch. Just listen to the music, baby. Just listen. That's not even my music, but it's not, it's copyright free music, so I can let it play, baby. Huh? I like that. Low key. Okay. Now, what this is called is a superset. You see me going straight into the next exercise. Some people take like anywhere from 30 seconds to 90 seconds rest. Some of y'all out there slacking half ass and take like 20 minutes rest. If you're taking a rest, say you're not doing this workout right here. For this workout, don't take the rest. Say you're doing your own workouts, and a lot of y'all got questions on how long rest should be. Take about 60 to 90 seconds. Nothing above 120 seconds, which is two minutes, obviously. Um, but this right here is called a superset. So I'm going straight from that wide lap pull down, boom, getting those 15 to failure, you know what I'm saying, until I can't go no more. Then I'm going straight into this. I can, you can use the same bar. You can change up the attachment if you want to, but I'm going straight into this. So I'm going underhand. Look at my grip. Look at my grip. Underhand, and I'm a little inside. I'm about shoulder width, maybe a little bit inside. With this, same thing. Stretch at the top. Stretch at the top, squeeze at the bottom. Look, 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 look. You can tell I'm squeezing. You see that face right there? You see that facial expression? Squeeze. Make that, make that, uh, that dookie face is what I call it. You know what I'm saying? Stretch, bring it to the top, bring it down, squeeze. Same rep scheme, 15 to failure. 
That was, so that was wide lat pull downs. Write this down. I'm going to have it linked in the description, written out for you. If you got questions, hit me up on Snapchat, Instagram, all that. Y'all know what it is. Wide lat pull downs, super set. We're going to call these close underhand pull downs. You know what I'm saying? If you got a problem with what I'm calling it, and then I don't give a fuck. Stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. Now look, 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 look where I'm coming right here. Just a little bit lower than the nipple line because this is hitting a different part of my back. The wide lat pull down is hitting that outer, outer part of the back. I'm not going to get scientific. I don't know what the muscle is called. I know it's called your latis. I, actually, I do because I'm a trainer. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Bring it to the top, squeeze, or bring it to the top, stretch, bring it down, squeeze, outer lat. This one, when you go underhand, bring it up, stretch, bring it down, that inner part of the back. You got to get that, that nice V taper that y'all going for. You know what I'm saying? You can get it. It's attainable. That Christmas tree effect. All right, so that was the first thing. That was wide lat pull down super set, close underhand. Three sets, 15 to failure for both of those together. So that would have been six sets with those two. Next, we also got a super set. Dumbbell curls, underhand, regular. Some of y'all might alternate when you're doing your own workouts, but this, we're going to stick to the D Gibby workout. Underhand, look where my arms are placed. Right outside my hips, right outside my hips, coming down, stretch. Bring it up, squeeze. Now see how I don't come to the top? A lot of people go all the way down, and then they come all the way to the top. You get a rest up here at the top. Don't come all the way up. Come about 75% of the way up, 75, 80% of the way up. Watch. Stretch, squeeze. I mean, it might even look like I'm coming like 50, 60%, but that's, that's how you keep that tension on that muscle. Tension is where that muscle's being worked that whole time. You know what I'm saying? So look, look, look. Stretch, squeeze. Stretch, squeeze. Notice how I'm not coming to, it's a slight pause at the top, but I'm not coming up here and getting a rest and not feeling it in my bicep. I'm squeezing my biceps the whole time. Stretch, still squeezing, bring it up, squeeze to bring that weight up, squeeze to bring that weight up. Look, stretch, squeeze, easy. Easy money, look at that thing. That boy, and you know when I'm working because my face is all out of whack, look at that. Look, I got this, huh. Y'all know what it look like I'm doing. That boy, focus, dookie face in full effect. Look, 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 go to failure. That's failure. Y'all saw it? Look, 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 look. Bring that back. I don't think you saw it. Bring it back. Bam. Boom. I'm not, I'm pretty sure I got 15. I might not have got 15. <laughs> I went to failure, though. I'll tell you that. It's 15 or failure, but you want to try to get 15. You know what I'm saying? Stick to, stick to what I say. Then we're going straight into it. Like I said, it's a super set. Three sets of this. You only see one because I'm not making a 30-minute video. So that first thing, underhand regular dumbbell bicep curls. This right here, dumbbell hammer curls, if you're wondering what they call it. Same thing, stretch at the bottom, come about 80% of the way up. Squeeze, squeeze. Notice how I'm not like swinging super hard. I'm not swinging, swaying back and forth. My core, abs, you got them under there, I promise you, ladies and fellas. Squeeze this, keep it tight. You see a slight swing, but I'm not going like this. If you're going like this, the weight's too heavy. You're not hitting the muscle you want to hit. You just, you're bullshitting yourself. Look, boom, stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze, easy, easy, look at that. I'm not even using super heavy weight, I'm using 30s. You know what I'm saying? So you out there probably watching, brother, you should be using 15s, 20s, shit, maybe you stronger than me using 75s, but make sure it's a weight where you're not swinging using all that momentum. Don't bullshit yourself, you're not gonna get any results if you come in here trying to show off. Nobody, look, look, you see all these people around, my brother over here, he on his phone, he doing his little 4X thing, he, do, he over there on Tinder swiping left, swiping right, whatever he doing, he ain't worried about what I'm doing. Nobody cares about what you're doing in the gym. Keep your form right, get your weight right, slowly progress that weight over time. Set that ego to the side, set those worries and insecurities to the side. Don't nobody give a fuck what you're doing. Stretch, squeeze, hammer curls, easy money. Same thing, first set was the regular uh, dumbbell bicep curls, 15 to failure, this, same thing. Look at my face, complete failure, complete failure, done. Fuck, you heard me say it, yes, that, I was tired. All right, that was the second thing. Total in this workout, we have four total supersets. So that was two down, halfway through. Next up, hitting the back, again. Seated close grip rows, you know what I'm saying? Seated close grip rows, look at this, look at this. Now, I love this attachment. I don't know what, it, what it's called. It's like a V-bar attachment. We're going to roll with that. But with this, see my butt obviously on the bench. Core going to be nice and tight the whole way through. I'm kind of kind of upright, kind of awkward, you know what I'm saying? Uh, stout, if you may. Coming forward, stretch, bring it back, squeeze. Now, when I'm squeezing and I'm bringing it back, I'm bringing it right here to just above my belly button, just above my belly button, just below my, my middies, you know what I'm saying, my man titties. Bring it forward, stretch, bring it back, squeeze. It's hitting that inside of the back. So that first thing we did when we were a vertical movement, up and down, that close grip, uh, underhand, lat pull down, same, hitting the same muscle group, you know what I'm saying? Hitting the same muscle group. Stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. Not a whole bunch of swinging. You don't see me out of control with it. For the most part, I'm controlled. Look, 
core nice and stable, boom. Make sure those elbows, when you bring them back, elbows, at least to the ribs, if not further back. That's when you get that full, full rep in. Look, full stretch, squeeze, easy. Look at that thing. Look at them middies though. Look at the way we filling out that Gibby gear shirt. Gibby gear down below. Let's dive all the way in and that's what we doing. Look at it. Stretch, squeeze, 15 to failure. And you know what I'm doing? I'm going right into something else after this. Got the Brian Browns on, got the Bang Energy drink. They don't sponsor me, but hey, if you are watching this, I love your drinks. I love the purple guava pear. So send some my way, baby. Stretch, squeeze. Hairline needs some help. Hairline needs some help. Gibby gear though. Promotion. Look at that back. Look at that Christmas tree effect. No, bring that shit back. I ain't done looking at it. Come on. Stretch, squeeze. Stretch, squeeze. 15 to failure. Look at that. Full stretch of the rep. Don't, hey man, don't lie to yourself. Only you know if you was doing it right. You know if you work, you went in there, worked your hardest, gave that set. Every single set you should be giving your all. Every single set you should be taxing yourself, li leaving it ri literally empty tank. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't, what you need to leave it in there for? Ain't nobody gonna come pick it up and ain't nobody gonna, y'all know what I'm saying. Come on now. Next exercise. Stretch, squeeze. That is a seated close grip row. Hitting the back, the inside part of the lap. Now this next thing, after I put it down, went to failure, probably could have got two more reps in and give you bullshit. Probably could have got two more reps in and walk right over here. Now this, you can change the attachment all you want. You can use whatever uh, your gym should have, like a cable, a cable machine like this. A lot of people do like those chest flies on it. Today we're doing, uh, this is called a lap pull down. This was a different version of the lap pull down. It's like an extended straight arm lap pull down, watch. I'm using the easy bar, that means it has the slight little curves in it. Now with this form, it, it might be a little difficult, but this is where you really need to observe and look at how your boy is standing. It's gonna look real weird. Ladies, it's gonna look like you standing doggy style. Pardon my language. Uh, in my sexual content, I warned parents and children at the beginning. Stand up, slight bend in the knee, bent over, not, not no 90 degree bend, that's about a 30 degree bend, you know what I'm saying? 20, 30 degrees, bent over, bringing it up. See my arms are just slightly bent, but mainly extended. Look, 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 stretch at the top, bring it at least to your forehead, if not higher. Stretch, on your way down, poke your middies out, boom, bring it down, squeeze, look, 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 stretch, squeeze. Now, when you're doing it, don't just go through the motions. Don't just go through the motions. I'm telling you, focus on the muscle that you want to hit. This is a back movement. Both of these are back movements, back to back. You know what I'm saying? We're only hitting back and biceps. So if you feel this in your toes, you ain't doing it right. You either either lift, lifting with your ego or you just not paying attention. Your jams on on the, on your headphones and you're not paying attention. You need to be paying attention. So this is a back movement. So when you're doing it, when you're doing that stretch, I need to hit my back on the way down. Telling yourself that you don't gotta say it out loud. Tell yourself that in your head. On the way down, squeezing, trying to bring the weight down with your lat. So bring it up, stretch, 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 squeeze to bring that weight down. Stretch, 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 squeeze the shit out that thing. Watch. Stretch, weight shouldn't be that heavy. Look at what weight I got on there, not that heavy. Stretch, squeeze, look how I'm focused. Stretch, squeeze. When you get down there, you can throw a slight little second pause in there if you may. 15 to failure, this is a, this is a movement designed to like sculpt your muscle. This, ain't, this isn't like a deadlift, this isn't like a, uh, a big dumbbell row or a big lap pull down. This is to sculpt the muscle, this is just to touch it, to burn it up a little bit. Still the same rep scheme, but this is to touch it, burn it up, sculpting mode. Stretch, squeeze, look at them triceps. It, you feel it a little bit in your triceps too. It's not supposed to be felt in your triceps, but no matter how you do it, I know my form is damn near perfect. So if, if you can find somebody with better form, let me know. But I know my shit is damn near perfect. Stretch, squeeze, look at that thing. Stretch, squeeze, hell yeah. She was admiring, she didn't look over, but she was admiring. I'm taking baby, got a girlfriend. Stretch, squeeze. And towards the end, it's okay. Your reps will start to go out the window. That's when it's time to put the weight down. That's when you have reached failure. When you're, oh, what the hell? When you've got to a point to where your, your good form is starting to get real, real shitty, put the weight down. Don't hurt yourself. That's when you're most likely to hurt yourself. Look at the bronze cameraman. Thank you, Mr. Bills of Center. I know you watching this. Last thing. So that, that right there was uh, seated close grip rows with the V-bar. Go back and look at the attachments I use. Go back and look at that before you send me a dumbass email. It's in, if, it's not in the, if it's in the video, don't ask about it. You know what I'm saying? Ask about form and stuff like that. Ask whatever you want. I'm still here. I'm just being a dick. Um, so that was seated close grip rows with the, uh, I said rope pull down in my phone. I don't know what, I'm tripping, tripping. That was a easy bar straight, uh, easy bar extended pull down, we'll call that thing. Last thing, 21s. This is a bicep. Both of these are bicep movements. This first thing, 21s. Let's see, did I use the, I use the easy bar in this one. You can use a straight bar if you want to, but if I were you, this first time around, you can do this multiple times over. This first time around that you do this, do this uh, D Gibby workout, 
use the easy bar. Use exactly what I'm using. 21, so what I do it, you go seven from the top to start. It's three, three little phases in this, this little exercise right here. So you're doing, I'm doing seven reps at the bottom to the middle. So that means seven right here from that bottom, full stretch position, right to the middle, squeezing the bicep the whole time. Stretch, squeeze to the middle, watch. Seven of them, boom, boom, already lost count. My school did not offer good uh, math teachers coming up. So I did seven from the bottom to the middle. Don't set the weight down when you're done because we ain't done yet. We only a third of the way through. Now we're going middle to top, middle to top. You go a little further than the middle. You come down just a little bit, just don't get full stretch. Middle to the top, seven. These are called 21s, people. Look at that. As you can tell, my, my arms are my weakest body part. That's why we're doing 21s. We need all the reps we can get. All right, so obviously did give me not paying attention. So we're doing seven from the bottom to the middle, seven from the middle to the top, then the last seven to equal 21. I don't know where you're from, but seven times three is 21 in my hood. You know what I'm saying? Now we're doing seven full reps, all the way to the bottom, all the way about 80, 90% to the top. Still don't get that break at the top like I talked about at the beginning where you're resting, seven to the top to failure. If you can do more than seven, do more than seven. It says 21s, but shit, turn them into 28s. If, if you grab the weight that's too light, turn it into failure. It never hurts to do more reps. Don't listen to what anybody says. If your workout says 8 to, if your trainer says do 8 to 10, do fucking 15 to 20 if you can do 15 to 20. Don't ever stop at a number. Your body doesn't care about the number. Your body cares can it go any longer. That's how you get better. That's how you trick your body into uh, either muscle recovery, not muscle recovery, muscle uh, building, fat loss, all that sort of thing. You just go to failure, you know what I'm saying? Go to whatever failure is. Don't, say, don't go in there and say, okay, I got three sets of 10. I'm only going in there, I'm doing 10 reps. I could have done 20 more, I'm only doing 10. What sense does that make? That's like going upstairs, having, say you had like a full course meal, have people over for dinner, you only do a quarter of the dishes. There's hella dishes left, Sink ain't clean yet, but you only did a quarter of the dishes. Do it all. Leave everything you got on the table. Voice going out of, out of pocket, everything, man. All right, so that was 21's first thing, seven bottom, seven top, seven full. You know what I'm saying? Questions? Let me know. Pretty self-explanatory. Super set, though. So, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I grabbed, now have a, have a, uh, a easy bar close by that's lighter weight with this one. This one is a, this is one that's designed to hit your forearms. It's a reverse grip curl. It's going to look kind of funky, I promise. But I promise you'll get through it also. You know what I'm saying? So wrist over top, when I do this, and when I usually show people how to do this at first, they always grab it, grab it close grip, kind of. You can go even closer to me. I like to have, sometimes I have my thumbs under the bar, sometimes I have it over it. It's gonna feel real weird. It's not natural at all, hitting the forearms, you know what I'm saying? But you just gotta do what you gotta do. This one, 15 reps to failure, just how all our previous exercises were besides them 21s. With this one, go kind of close grip, which means inside shoulder, coming down, stretch, Bring it up, squeeze, about 80% of the way. You might only get like 75% of the way on this one. This one's kind of funky. Elbows, don't let them come way up here. Your arms shouldn't be straight. Your arms shouldn't be completely bent. Have it kind of like in the middle so you get that full stretch, that natural motion. Stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. Don't let your wrist droop like this. That's going to put a lot of unneeded pressure on your wrist. Try to keep them nice and upright, nice and extended, nice and uh, stout, if you may. You know what I'm saying? So try to keep your wrist right here without drooping. So bring it down, stretch. Bring it up, squeeze. Down, stretch. You know, I was at that point in the workout, I was ready to throw in the towel. I was ready to give up. I was hating on myself. Look at it. Look at them veins popping. You know what I you know I know what I'm talking about. Even though the arms might be my weakest part. You see that? You see them vas that vascularity, that tricep popping? Come on now. Why was I praying just now? What in the good Lord Jesus? Look, look, look. Lord, it was a long day. Hold on. Bring that shit back one more time, baby. Hold on. Look, 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 look. I'm just praying to the Lord that I don't pass out in the gym. Look at you. Hold on. What is you biting on? God damn, you making love to that bottom lip. What is you doing? Look, look, look. Eyes closed. Oh, I wish it was over. We almost there, D-Gins. It's just reverse curls. Come on now. It's only 15 to fail you, but that's how you know I empty the tank every time you should be doing the same. Bam. To failure. All you can get. Get all you can get. That's when you know you give all you get when you slam the bar on the ground. Look, 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 look. Just listen to your boy. I'm going to just shut the fuck up. Pardon my language. That music kind of hitting though, low key. Done. When you slam the bar on the, on the ground, you're done. You have completed your workout. You have left it all on the table. Not really. You know, only you know if you left it all on the table. Real talk. Look, look, look. 
done. First need Gibby workout is complete. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Back and buys is complete, man. If you want some Gibby gear, man, link in the description. Hold on. Bang, bang. Let me stop that thing. Add me on all my social media. Instagram, Snapchat is going to be somewhere on the screen. Y'all already know how I'm coming. Uh, let me know in the comment section something you learned, something that was helpful, something you want to see next, whether it's uh, about food, whatever it is. Let me know videos you want to see down below. You know this channel is always going to be high energy, always going to be entertaining, always going to be no filter as fuck. You know how I get down, but I can't do the reactions no more because basically I got to react to my own stuff because anytime I post content that has somebody else's music in it, I get copyrighted, I don't get paid, and it's just, sometimes it even gets blocked. So it's not even, it's not even worth making anymore. So I'm going to make content, stuff that I do in real life, stuff that can hopefully help you in some way, shape, or form, but hey, if not, hey, y'all know what to do, deuces, but hey, if it did help you, let me know in the comments. If it didn't, let me know in the comments. Email me, it's linked in the description. Supplements I use, linked in the description. All that, I'm always open. My inbox is always open to you. I'm getting into a rant. You know how your boy gets down. So for right now, D. Gibby, out. Killing all y'all like I got it on my hip. Didn't bring a fuck, I forgot it in a whip. Met a bad chick cause I got her off the strip. You should talk about my dick cause she got it on her lips. Got a few girls in the DM.